This presentation is to illustrate how to automatically generate wiring diagrams from existing schematics. First, let's create a schematic. I'm going to insert a symbol. It's going to, we're going to start off with a motor, three phase motor, and drop it into my drawing. System automatically tags the motor. Now I can provide power to that motor. Let's insert my potential connection points and these will allow me to identify the various phases. Here we've got L1, L2, L3, and ground. Now we need a protection device for this motor. Let's go to our symbol library, locate protection devices, motor overload switches, and select the symbol. Device again, or the system again, tags that device automatically. Now, instead of inserting a symbol for controlling this motor, I'm going to insert a part number. Under Insert Device, I can identify part numbers that I want to insert into my drawing. In this case, we got a contactor. The first symbol available for the contactor is the coil. I can navigate to the various different other functions available, such as the power contacts. Now, I'm going to select a part number for my motor overload symbol. If I go to my parts tab, the device selection will provide the user the ability to match the current function used in the system and the functions available in the database. In this case, a motor overload. I will do the same for the motor. Double click on the motor, go to device selection, and select a part number for that motor. Now, I would like to number all of the wires of this circuit. First, highlight the circuit. I'm going to place my connection points. Next, I'm going to select the system and ask him to number those wires. The numbering scheme can be defined at the user's requirements. Now that the circuit is created, I'd like to define or to create wiring diagrams for each one of these components. This is done automatically using the report functionality in ePlan. We have reports type that are device connection diagrams for wiring diagrams. We're going to manually place these reports on a page and we can select which devices do we want to use to create these diagrams. I'm going to select these three items confirm with OK. I can sort the diagrams and now all I have to do is simply drop the reports on a page and my wiring diagrams are complete. All the information needed to wire these components is available to the user. The device tag, the part number, as well as all of the connection points used, as well as the wires connected to it and the target as to where those wires are going to.